Okay, December 8th, 2011. We're doing chapter 7, mid review. This is page 363, 6C from last night's homework. The question they've given you a diagram of a triangle. Okay? It looks something like this it's a right angled triangle. They told us that this angle is 41 degrees. They have not named the triangle at all. This side is 8.7 mill millimeters. And we're looking for side K. Stumbled a little bit. OK. Now, because last night we were strictly using our tangent ratio, it's pretty obvious which one we're going to use. But again, let's just make sure we know how to find this. If this is the angle we're referring to, this is considered what side of the triangle? Opposite, and the K would be the adjacent. Good. So what that means is we're using our tangent ratio. This is tangent theta is equal to the opposite side of the triangle divided by the adjacent side. So we are going to plug in our values for them. Tangent, our theta in this instance is our angle which is 41 so tangent 41 is equal to the opposite side of the triangle is 8.7 and the adjacent side of the triangle is the variable k okay. so we're looking for our k now in this question we need to isolate k so the very first thing I want to do is I want to move k to the other side of the equation. Okay? So when I move k to the other side, it's going to become multiplied by. So we're going to get k times tangent 41 is equal to 8.7. We still need to isolate k, so I need to move tangent 41 now to the other side of the equation. And in order to do this, we're going to divide both sides by tangent 41. K will be equal to 8.7 divided by tangent 41. And we're going to plug that into our calculator. Uh, let's solve tangent 41 first. So 41 tan. Okay, we get 8.7 divided by 0 0.8692, and it continuously goes on. Okay. Now I'm going to get an exact answer. What I'm about to type into my calculator is I'm going to put brackets in there so I know the calculator solves bed math. So I'm actually going to go back to this step here so that it's extremely accurate. So I'm going to put 8.7 divided by brackets, 41 tangent, and brackets is equal to 10.008. Okay. We could say approximately k is equal to 10 millimeters. Okay. Those are our approximate symbol. 10 is equal to, or sorry, k is equal to 10 millimeters in this graph. Okay, so question 60. Okay, so the question is asking us to solve for side P of this triangle. Now, I know very little about the left side of the triangle. We're going to focus on the right triangle here. The one on the right side, sorry. They're both right angle triangles. Um, using our ratios, I know that this is a common side. So what I want to do is I want to solve for this side of the triangle. I'm going to call it side x. I'm going to solve for that and then use that information to solve for side p. So I'm going to set up my ratio according to this angle. I have the, I'm looking for the measurement of the opposite side, and I have the adjacent side. That means we'll be using our tangent ratio. Okay. 
Our tangent ratio is tan theta. <laughs> tangent 38, 38 is our theta, is equal to the opposite side is our x, our adjacent side is 5.2. When I move 5.2 to this side of the equation, we get 5.2 multiplied by tangent 38 is equal to my side x. So I'm going to put that all in the calculator in one spot. Oops. 38 tangent times 5.2, 4.06. So side x is equal to 4.06. So 4.06 is the measurement of this side. Now. According to our tangent law, we need to find our side P, which means I need the opposite side and the adjacent side, but I don't know what the distance of this angle is. Does anyone know how I can solve that? Rules of a triangle. All the angles in this triangle, so we'll call this A, B, and C. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C all equal 180 degrees. Okay, so with that being said, angle A is 45, angle B is 90, we need to find angle C is equal to 180, because C is what we need in order to use our tangent law. This would give me, oh yeah, you're right, adjacent and opposite. Oh, I was looking at it before, yeah. You're right, the whole trick to this is it's actually going to be 45, okay? So angle C is going to equal... 45 degrees, okay? But you're right, we could have used this as our angle where this would have been our opposite and this will be our adjacent side. So let's set that up. We have tangent 45 is equal to the opposite is P. The adjacent side is 4.06. So same as before. Move 4.6 to the other side of the equation times tangent 45 is equal to P. We get, what is it? 4.06. So tangent 45 is 1. So we get 4.06 of side P. Which makes sense because our two angles are the same distance. This one is 45, and this one is 45, which means we have an isosceles triangle. The two sides of the triangle are 4.6 centimeters in length. 